This is TV3 KARD Television, Wichita, Kansas. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Well, Sarge and I would like to welcome you to another edition of Conversational Shaving with me, the guy that talks to himself in the bathroom, and he talks to his cat, too. Hi there, I've already prepped my face with some of this prep pre-shave cream and my razor today is going to be something special to me anyway. It's uh, in this case it's a Gillette Aristocrat razor and uh, you can see it there it's pretty clean and it's a used one of course but uh, I got it from an eBay vendor and uh, it's still got the little thing to put blades in, in there. It's twist to open, not adjustable. And uh, in there, on its first use, will be one of these uh, Gillette Super Thin Blades, which are now made in, let's see, Vietnam and Indonesia, I believe it is. And these are some from Vietnam, I think. So let me sit this down. I'll show you something else, too. I. Uh, had such a good experience one time with a Gillette super thin blade that I went ahead and bought a whole, uh, this is like a store display of a hundred of these. And this opens up and you can see them in there. There's some kind of little card that comes in there too. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe if I scratch this thing right there, maybe if I scratch that off, if it will scratch off, Maybe I win the Vietnamese lottery or something, I don't know, but uh, I'll try to put that all back together and set it aside. And uh, my, let's see, hold on a second. Well, I forgot to bring this in here with me. My cream today is going to be this Williams Ice Blue Shaving Cream. And uh, let's see, let me set that aside. I've already lathered up in the Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl using the uh, Frank Shaving Conversational Shaving uh, Synthetic Brush, the official brush of this channel available from Frank Shaving, and I believe he sells this, uh, one of the places he sells it is on Ally, or Ally, uh, A-L-Y I think it is, uh, anyway. I've already lathered up the brush, so uh, I'll lather it a little bit more here and try to get a lather going on my face, and I hope you're all doing well out there this week. Mm -hmm. I haven't used this cream in a minute. And there's another kind uh, similar to this, which I also have some of. Um, wow, I'm getting this stuff up my nose. Huh? Um, i trying to remember, there's like one that comes in more of a green or turquoise uh, tube. It's another kind of uh, ice blue. Williams uh, menthol cream. Let's see, I think this should be all right. I'm just kind of painting it on here. Okay. I'll set these things aside, wet the razor, and get going here. Okay, we're ready for the first pass, which will be with the grain. Here we go. Oh, and I have three days worth of growth. Maybe a little over three days worth. I've just been too lazy to shave, if you can imagine that pleasant enough hobby that when you get too lazy to shave or do much else, that's not true. I've been doing other things. Maybe that's why I get tired. A little bit of sunburn on my face too, but it doesn't hurt. Bit of a Gillette slide there and I'll 
spill her here to the other side of my face. So far, so good. Comfortable shave so far. Hope you can see okay what I'm doing. These blades, well, they are thin and they are sharp, probably not as sharp as a feather blade, but uh, they're good when you have three days worth of growth and they're fairly smooth too. Uh, excuse me while I rinse the razor. Okay, uh, I'll go on to the neck now. Nice razor. I mean, it doesn't just look nice, it shaves nicely. This razor doesn't have a date code. I wonder if that means that it was like a reissue or something. But the, uh, the ad or the selection or whatever you call it in uh, or on eBay said that this was from the 1940s. If anybody knows more about Gillette razors, maybe you can tell me. But not having a date code on this makes makes me unable to more precisely determine when it was manufactured. And I believe it's, it's Razor Emporium. They have all the Gillette date codes listed and what they mean, what year and what quarter of the year the razor was made. Except for the early ones where the date code is different. It's a series of numbers. It's not just like a one letter and one number. Which is what the date codes on Gillette razors became later on. Let me rinse the razor. Okay, we'll do the chin and above the upper lip. I think I usually do that. Uh, second, but I'm doing it third this time. As I mow down the stubble, I'm going to have to remind myself later in the shave not to press as hard. I should, probably don't even need to press that hard right now. When I got such a good shave three days ago that this almost didn't seem like three days worth of growth. I got a different razor in the mail today, but it's completely different from this. I'll show you that in a future installment. Okay, that's pass number one complete. Uh, I'll be right back for pass number two, across the grain. Okay, across the grain we go. I'm hearing a lot of audio feedback still. I 
I try to shave in each direction until I hear no more audio feedback, but that can sometimes consist of me over shaving. Okay, we'll go over here now. Yeah, I'm really liking this razor. I was afraid it was just a vanity purchase and that it didn't have, uh, well, I wouldn't say any uh, practical benefit to it, but it, it has more practical benefit than I thought. It's a very easy razor to shave with. Better, I think, than my other uh, twist to open razors of any variety, any brand or any Gillette brand. At least if this shave so far is anything to go by. Okay, rinse time. I'll go ahead and go to my chin and above the upper lip now. over time, or maybe sooner than I would prefer, this uh, lovely gold-colored razor may uh, lose its, or may gain a different kind of patina, because uh, I'm not going to just let this razor sit around and look pretty. Anyway, I'm not sure that storage case is all that pretty, being that it's kind of old, but it's in better shape than some I've seen with its faux leather uh, exterior. Volume, probably. Let's see, where am I here? Okay. Okay, across the grain on the neck now, the bottom of the chin. Okay, go over here now. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Uh, I'll be right back for a third pass against the grain. Okay, against the grain we go. I'll start on my neck this time. <clears throat>
Okay, flip this over and go over here. Okay, rinse time for the razor. To the face now. You know, this razor and this blade seem to be doing a good job. Uh, very comfortable except for down here where I think I overdid it there for a minute. Okay, rinse time again. Okay, I'll be right back for pickups. Well, I may be the uh, male equivalent of a lonely cat lady, but I'm pretty happy. And uh, even though I don't have any children, uh, neither do some people like uh, Paul H. and his lovely wife, uh, Lori. So are we bad people? Uh, I don't think so. And uh, there's Sarge, and welcome to pickup time. Okay, Sarge, I'll let you go back to what you were doing. Poor Sarge, I keep, I keep needing him uh, for this every time he tries to lay down. Now I think he's out there chasing the cat that I'm babysitting. Pick up time. Although sometimes uh, those two cats my cat, Sarge, and Minnie, who I'm uh, watching for a, a, a former neighbor lady of mine. Um, well, sometimes they get along and start rubbing noses and all that. And Sarge will let Minnie have the rest of his tuna sometimes when he doesn't eat at all. Okay, I'm going to pause here a minute, rinse the razor, and go over my neck one more time. Since I'm a little bit OCD about my rinsing of the razor, uh, I cut that out, uh, out of the video because I might take longer doing that than some people do, whether I need to or not. I'm not getting a lot of 
clogging in this razor since I'm using a cream out of a tube instead of a hard cream or crope or soap in a tub or a tin. And I'd like to make this BBS, but how much time do we have? I don't know. I like to get these things in under half an hour, these videos. But, except for a couple of places, this uh, shave is feeling BBS already. Trying to shave until I hear no more appreciable audio feedback. But that's not always a good idea, but wow, this is feeling really smooth right now. Depends on how much I want to gild the lily, the proverbial lily. Hey, you know what? That's a BBS shave, and uh, I'll be right back with Mr. Tao. Here's Mr. Tao. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Pretty nice. And that cream, although it doesn't have a real strong scent, <clears throat> has a little bit of scent, maybe a two or three out of ten for scent strength, and a little bit of menthol, I think, or something similar to menthol that cools but does not freeze the face, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Wouldn't be bad for this time of year. Although we've had cooler than average temperatures the last few days here, considering that it's August. <clears throat> okay. All right. And uh, let's see. I'll start a brief recap, and then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave. Well, before I got on camera, I prepped my face with this uh, prep cream. I believe that's from, is it from Italy or Portugal? I don't know. Now I can't. Hardly see. Uh, eh. I can't tell for sure. I was trying to read the fine print on that, was what I was trying to do, but it's not working too well. But anyway, what did work well was this razor is my first time using it. It arrived in the mail yesterday or the day before. It's the uh, Gillette Aristocrat razor, twist to open, non adjustable. And in there, on its first use was one of these Gillette super thin platinum blades. I forgot to say the platinum part originally. So that was a nice combination. And uh, my cream has been this Williams uh, Expert uh, Ice Blue cream right there. And oh, let's see, my brush was this uh, Conver it's the official brush of this channel, the Synthetic Conversational Shaving Long Handle Brush made by Frank Shaving, and I lathered in the uh, Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl right there. Okay, I think I covered everything. I hope so. So I'm going to reach for some of the T.M. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. This bottle's about gone, but I've got more. Yeah. Put some of this on the face here, and the neck, and so forth. That contains some alcohol, so there was a marginal amount of sting, but not much, really. Even though I shaved and shaved and probably over-shaved, fortunately, and got a BBS shave, but... Uh, 
no appreciable sting. I mean, no, there was some sting, but hardly any, I think is what I'm trying to say. Just marginal amount. Okay, I'll wipe my hands off in the towel here. Yeah, I'll show you that bottle again. It's the TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel, available in stores here in the U.S. And for my aftershave, I'm going to use some of this uh, Williams aftershave, uh, the Aqua Velva lotion. This bottle comes from Spain, the big bottles like that. I think the square ones come from England or Germany or someplace like that. So, ah! Uh, I have to had a bit of a bit of a time getting that lid off, but okay, hold on. You get some of this going in my hand. The, the restrictor on that bottle is fairly wide, but not as wide as the uh, mouth or whatever of the bottle, I guess. But still, it's not much of a restrictor, so be careful. This is supposed to be more like the aqua velva that used to be sold in stores here in the United States. Now it comes in a similar looking plastic bottle and it's not called Williams aqua velva anymore. It's just called aqua velva. The Williams name was dropped, but there's that again. And finally, <clears throat> No Williams name on this because it's sold in the U.S. in stores. Oh, and we can't even get Williams Pup Soap anymore. Not that the later incarnations of that were very good, but they quit, they quit making it here or, or selling it or something. Maybe it's available somewhere else or online. But anyway, I'm going to use the Aqua Velva Sensitive 5-in-1 Aftershave Balm to finish with. And uh, let's see. Nope, oh, come on out now. That's probably more than enough right there. Probably way more than enough. Let me show you that tube again. Oh, it's the back of it. Sorry. Williams sensitive five in one aftershave balm. Or not Williams, just Aqua Velva. No, no Williams name on that. So Yeah, I didn't get much sting from that uh, aftershave lotion, although it does contain alcohol, I'm pretty sure. And this balm is apparently alcohol-free. Very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll even put some on the eyelids. I try not to get any in my eyes. And that's it. I'm done. On behalf of myself, Mr. Tao, Sarge, and Minnie, the two cats, although you haven't seen Minnie in, in this episode, we'll, we'll see you next time. Peace out.